वेलकम फ्रेंड्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू टू स्टडी स्टीम जनरेशन ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल काइंडली लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल द टॉपिक इंक्लूडेड इन टुडेज लेक्चर इज कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ सेपरेटिंग कैलोरीमीटर टू मेजर द ड्राइनेस फ्रैक्शन सेपरेशन ऑफ ड्राई स्टीम एंड वॉटर फ्रॉम ए वेट स्टीम so the separating calorimeter works on the fundamental of separation of dry steam and water now dry steam and water is separated from wet steam mass of separated dry steam is measured mass of separated water is measured and then the dryness fraction is calculated construction so it has a outer chamber it is fitted with the perforated cup or a separator so it is the perforated place the steam pipe or steam is supplied to the steam pipe through a valve to the perforated cup located in a outer chamber the water gauge is connected to the perforated cup or a separator which measures the mass of water collected in a perforated cup at the bottom steam outlet is provided which measures the mass of steam collected at the bottom of the outer chamber working wall is open as wall is opened the wet steam there is a mass of dry steam plus mix, uh, mass of water there is a mixture of water and steam enters into the uh, chamber it enters into the perforated cup and its direction is suddenly changed so previously it was coming down now it is moving up now as its direction changes so what will happen light particle can move up but heavier particle can go down so the steam which is light it will move up and water that is heavy particle is uh, you can say settle down so it, it doesn't go up so the water particles are collected into the perforated cup now using this water gauge the mass of water is measured now whatever the steam is here it is taken down and using the weight gauge located at the bottom of the outer chamber the mass of steam is measured so that is here we are measuring two mass mass of water at the left hand side and mass of steam at the bottom of the you can say outer chamber now let us go for the measurement of dryness fraction of steam so x is equals to mass of dry steam in a sample of wet steam divided by total mass of wet steam so that is equals to mass of dry steam that we have uh, collected at the bottom of the chamber divided by mass of dry steam plus mass of water that we have collected on the left hand side so that is equals to mass of dry steam divided by mass of wet steam and using this we can measure the dryness fraction in a separating calorie meter advantage construction and working is simple it is easy to calculate the dryness fraction when we go for the separating calorie meter complete separation of dry steam and water is not possible and therefore it gives only approximate value so these are the limitation of separating calorie meter 